What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. I'm about to show you how to do something pretty cool in MailChimp. See, MailChimp is an amazing platform, but it's added this tag feature, and the tag feature allows you to go in and send automated email blasts or um, new email blasts to a specific tagged segment of your audience, but what it doesn't allow you to do with the tags is it doesn't allow you to send to a list that's within your audience, but exclude people who have the tag. And so what you have to do is you have to build a segment. So this data-driven daily tip that we're gonna jump into right now where I'm sharing my screen with you is around how to do just that. So thank you for watching and listening to the data-driven daily tip on how to build a segment in MailChimp to leave out people that have a specific tag on your email blast. Let's jump right into it. What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys um, this tag management in MailChimp and how to create an email campaign and exclude people that have a certain tag and uh, I think it's best explained with an example here. So if I try to go in and send an email campaign to my email contacts uh, that have not registered for the Nashville Voice Conference, there's no way to do it within MailChimp's tagging feature. MailChimp's tagging feature is awesome. You basically can go into your contacts, which is under audience, and you can search and um, you can find someone who may have already registered for the Nashville Voice Conference and you can um, give them a tag by viewing their profile and then adding, adding a tag. So I have um, added this particular person as a registrant for Nashville Voice Conference and now I can manage my tags by going to audience uh, manage contacts and then tags and so if I if I want to see the 30 people so far who have signed up for the Nashville voice conference I can go to um, view the Nashville voice conference tag and I can see those 30 people uh, it's showing 25 in here um, but some of them have uh, registered for more than one spot with the same email address so um, these are the people that are under that tag and um, let's say I want to send out I don't want to bother them with email emails um, promoting the National Voice Conference and registrations anymore so I want to exclude them well if I go in to campaigns and create a campaign uh, MailChimp won't let me exclude them so for example like uh, I go in and I I'm just gonna do like a test campaign um, it'll let me include people only that are that are part of a tag. So if I wanted to say um, people that are in my email contacts that are part of a particular tag, I can go to tags and I can do registered for Nashville Voice Conference. But if I want to exclude them, there's no way to just easily exclude a tag. But the way to do that is to actually create a segment. So I'm going to talk about segments today. And when you go into audience and then segments, um, you're actually able to, um, so, so here's audience and then segments. And what you need to do is you, you actually need to go into audience and then pick your, um, your list, basically. Um, and then once you pick your list, It'll let you go into segments, and so I cre I've gone into my list of, of Paul's email contacts, which has um, 1,806 contacts, and um, I've created a segment. So I've done a segment, create segment, and you can do, the easiest way to do it is to just go to the last email that you sent to everyone, and so you can go to campaign activity. Uh, was sent and you can do any of the last five campaigns 20 campaigns blah, blah 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 and I just went to like the last campaign that I sent to this particular audience 
And that was my first criteria. And then I did add, and then I did um, tags. And I, I want to do contact is not tagged with registered for natural voice conference. And when I save that, um, here's what that segment looks like. So I created that segment and we've got, and I named it Paul's email contacts who have registered for natural voice conference. And so now I have 1,804 people on that list. So it's excluded the people um, that have signed up for the national voice conference. So if I search for someone on this list that I know is part of has signed up for a national voice conference um, this person should not be part of that segment and um, then when I send this if I send an email campaign to a segment you can go to campaigns create campaign. Here's my test. I'm just going to go back in and edit my test. And when I add my recipients, I can choose an audience and I can choose again my list, Paul's email contacts, and do a segment. So now it's excluding the people who have registered for the Nashville Voice Conference. And when I save that, um, it says 1,278 recipients and I can click on those recipients and I can just double check and make sure that um, you know the people that have registered for the conference are not on this list. So um, it's a little bit it's it's a little bit of a uh, shame that Mailchimp doesn't just easily allow you to exclude a tag, but uh, this is the way around it right now. And uh, my friends, this has been your data driven daily tip. For more free digital marketing tips, go to dataoveropinions.com. To up your digital marketing game, check out datadrivenacademy.org. And uh, thanks for listening on the podcast, datadrivenpodcast.com, the Alexa flash briefing at datadrivendaily.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash paulhickey. And uh, to do business with us, uh, hit me up at paul at datadriven.design. If you'd like to get the Data Driven Daily Tip delivered directly to your inbox every Friday, the week's worth of tips, go to datadriven.design slash subscribe. And did you know that now you don't even have to log into Google Analytics anymore to check your web data? Just go to askdatadrivendesign.com to request your free trial to our premium Alexa skill, that allows you to just ask Alexa how your web traffic is doing. Again, I'm Paul Hickey. Thanks for watching and listening to the Data Driven Daily Tip. Have a great day. My friends, this has been your Data Driven Daily Tip. Thank you for watching on the YouTube channel and listening on the podcast. Keep coming back and keep marketing. I will be here to help you out. Thanks and have a great day.